One of my favorite recipes. Um, it's just awesome. You're going to love it. So check this out. I'm going to add a little twist to this one that I've not done in the past. So I'm going to get the, pot, the pan going. I'm going to get that on a little bit slower because I need to shred some mushrooms. I want the shreds to be a little bit thicker this time. So what I'm going to do is just shred the exterior like this, right? So you, so you see those. And then what I do, twist it and then just peel it apart. So top part, add it all. This other part, just pull apart. The shreds really just help guide the pulls. And I want them a little bit thicker and some thinner. So it'll be really good texturally when we're all done. All right, so I'm just gonna do that quickly for all these, just go around quick. Again, just pull on that. And you can make quick work of this. Whereas you just scrunch it up in your hand, pull it apart. It reminds me of back in the day, you know, pulling, pulling the meat off of the carcasses, chicken. That was a horrible experience. I don't really enjoy remembering, but I do remember it and we can do it with mushrooms. So here is how we do it. So some I like to leave like good sized chunks. So again, it's for textural reasons. Like it really does help with the eating and the mouthfeel. Uh, some thinner, some will get crispy, some will stay tender. You know, we're trying to emulate as much as we can of just memories of cooking certain things and bringing that back into the experience with a new twist, free from animals, totally, totally vegan, all plant-based, whatever you want to call it. Whatever reason you want to not eat animals is the freaking best reason. Just do it. Okay. I'm going to add, so I have a little bit of garlic granulas, granulated garlic. It's probably a, a good uh, teaspoon. I have some Chinese five spice. So this, I'm only going to add like half a teaspoon. It's pretty strong. And then I have a little bit of sesame oil here. So I'm going to add mm, half of this right now. And then I have a little bit of soy sauce and I'm going to add half of this right now. So it's probably like a tablespoon. Okay, so then I'll mix this up. It smells good. I'm just gonna use my hands, guys. Easier, get that in there. So I'm gonna add a pinch of black pepper to this. A fair amount, all right, so that's probably a good half a teaspoon. And then a pinch of salt, another half a teaspoon of that for now. And just get that in there. Squeeze it in, get those flavors going through all of them. Frankie, what are you doing, babe? So I got my dog walking around. So that now, I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil to the food. Frankie, sit. Good girl, sit. She's such a good pup. <laughs> good girl. You can have some as soon as we're done. So I'm gonna add right to the pan. Okay, amazing. It already looks like shredded duck, but it's not. Total mushroom. So what I wanna do here is use, so I have one clove of garlic and a, about this size nub, so it's like the size of my thumb, nub of uh, ginger. And just peeling the ginger quickly with the knife. Just gonna cut it in half. So it's not too thick and then smash it. So I'm just gonna set that aside here and then also with the garlic, I'm just trying to make it easy on myself and just slice it all together. Good. So I don't wanna mess too much around with this because I want the mushrooms to sear really well to the bottom of the pan. So I'm not gonna mess with it too much yet. We will add this before we, so we're gonna pop it in the oven. I'll add this in a little bit where we pop it in the oven. But I, I don't want the garlic and ginger to burn. That's why I use a lot of the dry spice in the beginning, the granulated garlic. So we'll add this towards the end. Uh, we are gonna sauce it with a little bit of the teriyaki sauce. And uh, right now I'm gonna use 
I'm just going to add a touch of agave, so to help that, just that sweetness a little bit, so maybe like a teaspoon of that, just for the sweetness. So I don't know if you guys have a mandolin at the house or know what one is. I'll have you show you what I got. So back restaurant days, I have these. You can, you know, some people have the, the handy plastic one. These are super dangerous, so be careful when you're using them. So I want to do really thin cucumber, and you can just do slice. Look, if you don't have one of these, don't fret. Just slice it super thin, and you can use that. But this one, for the aesthetically pleasing aspect, is what I'm going to do here. So just take this cucumber. So I'm just going to add the cucumber right to this bowl here. I'm going to add a little bit of the fresh ginger and garlic, just a little bit because some of it's going to go in there. I'll mix that in. But I'm also going to add some of these, this chili pepper. So just diced up. So I got the chili right into the cucumber. I got the green onion. I'm just dicing this too. And then last but not least, some fresh mint. So I got this beautiful mint out in the garden. Really nice, super fragrant, fresh tasting. It's gonna make it amazing. Really bring all those flavors together. That, right? And then the rest of the sesame oil I had here, it's probably another, that's, I would say it's a teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon. I'm just gonna mix that right in. And a little pinch of black pepper. I'm not gonna add any salt to this right now because it'll just draw out the water and I don't want it watery going on the sandwich. All right, so there's a reason for not adding salt at this second. Just gonna stir the mushrooms, right? Yes. Nice color on there, looking great. Really starting to drive the flavor in there. You can see the crispy bits. Look, it's really important, like the way we're cooking this is like I would do in a restaurant. I want that crispy, crunchy, caramelized flavor, not this watered down tan. I want like some, some dark spots on there, that caramel. It really makes a difference between amateur and pro, like how you want to eat. And we're doing this all vegan. And if I'm going to convince any meat eaters to enjoy this as much as any animal product that they're used to having, you got to go that extra level. So this is what we're doing. We're bringing it home. We're making it wicked. You can see the colors of that charring on there. You get this fresh crispness of the cucumbers, the spicy hit of the chili peppers, the coolness of the mint, the nice punch of the garlic and the ginger in here. I mean, it smells super fresh. It looks amazing. What I'm going to do is just pop this in the refrigerator just to keep it cool until the sandwich is ready. I'm going to add the sauce. So before I add the sauce, I am going to add the garlic and ginger to the mushrooms. Right, so we're just adding that right to it. Any teriyaki sauce or a vegan hoisin sauce will work. We do sell this in Tesco in the UK and also in the US right now in Kroger's and Sprouts and coming to more grocers. So this is one of my favorite sauces and I'm probably going to use a fair amount, maybe half of the bottle. That's good. Save the other half for another time. Mix it up good. Looks fantastic. Smells sublime. So I preheated the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. That's 400 degrees Fahrenheit fan convection for those of you back in America. And I'm just going to shut off this heat, pop this in the oven. All right, guys, so we're back. It's been the crispy mushroom duck has been in the oven for about 10 minutes. And it's looking good. Where's my tongs? Beautiful. Check that out. Nice. Caramelized. Some little tiny burnt bits in there. But it's perfect. So what I want to do is I'm just going to put it in the bowl because I want to use the pan. I want to use those flavors in the pan. We're just going to put these. Look at that, man. It is freaking... The pan is hot. So hold, watch that. Um, but it looks so good. 
Smells amazing. Look at that. Freaking delicious. So I'm just gonna, to make it next level, you gotta toast the buns. I don't care what sandwich it is. If you're in my restaurant, when I ever, if I decide to open another restaurant, we're gonna be toasting buns. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil to this. Just a little bit of the oil, just so it doesn't stick. That sauce is still sticking on there and I don't want it to stick. And I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. So, all right, we're going full flavor. So I have two buns, just putting those right down here, right down there, right? And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cover that up for like not long at all. I just want them to toast. I want that steam in there to kind of steam and make it soft and squishy, but I want that crispy bottom bit where we're gonna put the filling in between. It makes the difference between a good sandwich and a freaking amazing sandwich. This makes the difference. Nice toasty. Nice. Still got a little bit of that flavor on from the pan. Fantastic, it looks freaking gorgeous. Now, to build the sandwich, you guys get a good shot of this, because this is gonna look good. This is the money right here. This yeah. is the money shot. All right. Should get in there close. That just looks freaking delicious. So you could have enough to do like three or four if you didn't add it as much as I do. So three, you know, two packs of mushrooms, six mushrooms, right? Uh, or you can make two of these killer, amazing sandwiches, or you can make four, you know, not so full. Now, top this off. That cucumber salad. We're gonna add it right to the top. Okay, look at that. I'm not going for clean. This is gonna be a messy eat. Most delicious things are messy eats. Again, you know, that freshness of the cucumber and the mint. It's just gonna be delicious, you guys. Just make sure it's all right. That looks freaking amazing. All right, guys, so this is the sandwich. I'm gonna tell you, it's, <laughs> I'm so excited to dig into this. I'm gonna cut it in half, right, so we can see the inside. And just look at that center cut. Amazing, it looks freaking delicious, you guys. And I already know, I already know it's good. I hope I didn't get that all of me. Let's give it a try, yeah? Mmm, mmm, wow. Wow, game changer. You guys, let me know what you think. Write down below, comments, subscribe, like, all that stuff. We don't need animals. Eat mushrooms. See you guys soon. All right, hey guys. Today we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna make sort of a, <laughs> hold on one second. I'm trying to think of what I'd call it. Teriyaki duck, like a hoisin duck. What would they call a duck sandwich? Hoisin duck sandwich.